Thank you. I thought I was gonna float in that ooze forever. Ugh, that smells funny. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm just feeling a bit marinated. That's all. <laughs> a pinch of salt and a drop of vinegar never hurt a mushroom. But please, don't tell the other mushrooms about me. I don't want them on my tail. Where are you headed? Oh, you would laugh. Or wouldn't believe me anyway. Ahoy, then! Bon voyage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? What do you mean, uh-oh? Wait till you hear this guy. Your inborn urge to interfere did not fail to make you pay me a visit. Of course, come freely. Isn't it a pity, however, that your journey ends so soon after it began? What? I'm just here for the honey hoarding and- Honey hoarding? Ha! <laughs> I have slain the beast that lived here many generations ago. Before honey was of any value, the monster's riches were of different nature. It has gathered knowledge of aeons. Knowledge the Ganal Horde refused to accept. The ancient wisdom that would allow me to reach Karl Merzen. Forbidden understanding of the roots, guarded so tightly by Hordana. So the danger the mushrooms talk about is a lie? You've tricked them. Tricked, fooled, analyzed, devoured even. <laughs> oh. They will soon be gone either way. Their foul deals fail. The Gnoll invasion is imminent. At least, such were the Horde's ploys back when Shneh, Kaa's path, and mine were alive. These days I have no interest in their doings. They do not concern my arrangements. But you do. Why would you have any interest in me? <sighs> Waste not your final moments struggling to comprehend my plan. I would recommend you recall bright memories of home and childhood. <laughs> but I know you lack these. Your past is an open book to me. Your future. That I cannot allow.
my. You know what that is? I guess I'll know in a moment. A tool to change everything. To become one's reflection. Be careful, though. There might be no going back. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Better keep my guard up. in town. <laughs> Don't you trip over a rock with your nose so up high. <laughs> oh, look! It's that living saint over there. <laughs> Bad accidents happen here for goody goodies like yourself, you know.
I'll return once I'm ready. Trip over a rock with your nose. Take that holier than thou attitude. Get the hell out of here, you lawful clown. Such a great inspiration. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. May Perun always walk with you. Who dares to discords be praised? You've returned! I had you for a goner. Or a martyr, should I say? Buried along with the dragon. But enough of that. Tell me already. Did the beast... I've seen no dragon in or near the cave. It's almost like it's, well, not real. Ah, the Hellspawn eludes us yet again. It must have slithered away at the very last second before the blast. But do not despair, Squire, for the beast days are numbered. We shall yet emerge victorious! <sighs> There's something else you should probably know. I met some outcast gnoll mage after I got through the dragon's den. A gnoll mage? A oh, shaman, perhaps? There are a few of them here and there, indeed. He was like no other. He dwelled among the bones and could have been... Well, could have been feasting on mushrooms' flesh. Oh, car. We thought he was long gone. It's a miracle you're still alive, Squire. He claimed a great onslaught of gnolls is coming to the forest. Damnation! It was bound to happen one day. And so the day comes. He also said something about... mushrooms. Trying to make some deals with gnolls. I thought you'd better know. What nonsense! No one would be deranged enough to... Heavens above! Now I see! The Gnolls must be plotting with the Cursed! No good can come of it! Here's a reward for the little help you've been, but forget the Dragon Squire! War is at hand! Fare thee well, Squire! Never let your low birth become your bed. Poverty does not justify crime. May the sun shine warm upon your face, noble lady.
Such a great inspiration! It's not the first time. Hell? But you don't really need that, do you, Mr. Lava? Well... Even if you're a passing form, there must still be a reason for you to be that way at this time. If you'll make a habit of disregarding and abusing this phase, no good will come next. Endure. Wow! You are absolutely correct, miss. It's a shame I forgot all of them. Somehow it's hard to keep it in mind. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Borbon Jack? A uh, long time no see. <laughs> oh, hi, girl. So you came to listen to the song? <laughs> or to check if Sprout's not growing back. 
so you could make sure he doesn't. <sighs> Why do I have to form a single organism with such a moldy moaner? And I sometimes think that the roots took you a long time ago, Jack. Hmm. Good to see you two are holding up. <sighs> sure, sure. Or at least we were. Why the blues? Anything wrong? Uh, it'd be easier to ask what's right. The roots spread at an alarming rate, taking our forest, our lairs, sometimes even us. Not feeling too well lately, huh? Um, Borvi probably means a giant taken by the roots that has awakened not far from here. You must have heard of him. <sighs> there are no borders the roots wouldn't cross. Living beings are not enough anymore. They take over even the ground, rocks, stones. What's next? The very foundations of the world? Yeah, our buddies are probably on it already. I hope they can get it under control. Hmm. But to make things worse, all of this befalls us in autumn, when we've got so little time left. So little time before we fall asleep. <sighs> It's, uh, getting chilly. <laughs> I know you guys are ready, and see what you're going for, but... My time is running over too, and I still haven't found my... <sighs> sister? Wait, did you say sister? You heard it, Borvi? She's looking for her sister. A twin sister. Wait, what? Why didn't you say it's all about your twin sister in the first place? That's terrible. I can't imagine losing my... Um... You're right. I can't either, brother. What was that line again? Sometimes you need to see through other people's problems first to solve your own in the end. Jack's right. You've solved some of our problems before. It's time for us to return the favor. You're welcome, princess. Wait, are you serious? You want to help me find Zora? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but uh, I've got an idea. We may not know a lot about people. There was someone who did, though. You know who I mean? Cordona. Yes, I, I keep hearing about her. But as far as I know, she's been long... Um... Jack, don't give the girl false hope. This whole... Forefather's Eve thing is... well... Mm, oh. Thank you, Orvi. Yes, the Forefather's Eve is a time when we ask spirits for advice. Maybe you should try it too? So that's what it's about. The elders from the village used to consult the spirits that night. So you think you can... here, in the forest? Well, maybe not us, but we know the right people. Don't get your hopes up too high, but I guess it won't do any harm to talk to a professional. Uh, what do you think? The least we can do for you, with the little time we still have before the autumn ends. And before the roots get us all. Don't you think there's got to be a way to stop the roots? Gordana probably knew of one. And what do you Think. Me? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Anyone living long enough knows that the roots are the hut. The hut is the roots. It's pretty much the same. And you, well, you wear these masks. It's not really that hard to put all the pieces together. So you... you do know about the hut? Deep down inside, we're counting on you, girl. So am I, girl. I always thought autumn was the best time for mushroom picking. <coughs> I, uh, mean, the best time for mushrooms to thrive. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. But you see for yourself, it's getting cold, and days are getting shorter. Winter is coming. For us mushrooms, it's the time of farewells. The mycelium is forever. But we, well, we grow and we wither, like everything else. Are you trying to tell me you 
We won't make it through the winter. In some sense, we will. In another, we won't. <sighs> you know, Yaga, everything happens in cycles. They're a bit different for us mushrooms than for you humans. And the current cycle is going to end soon. But the new one is about to begin, provided the forest survives. All right. Time's running out. Let's do it. Good. Hmm. All you need is a gifted conjurer. Okay, well, let me let me think. Uh, hmm. There was one around a long time ago. I haven't seen him in a while, though. Can you remember his name? You know, the fishing fanatic, uh, the Harald? Eric? No, 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 it wasn't Eric. Oh, I know. Henrik. What? Henrik? But Borfi? Henrik, he drowned. Uh, he did what? Borvi, he drowned. If you get what I mean. Jack, don't you start again. I don't know what you mean, and honestly, I don't care. Well, you'll see for yourself, Yaga. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Henrik used to live near a small pond in the neighborhood. Ah, yes, the pond. Henrik loved to go fishing once in a while. That part couldn't be more accurate. So, maybe you can do the same? I'm sure as soon as you bait your hook near the old Henrik's pond, he will come and start with his usual, are the fish biting? <laughs> That'd be so him. Just mention our names. Henrik owed us a favor or two. That's an unusual way to find a person, but, well, whatever works, I'll go fishing. Of life, keep on spinning my thread. <laughs> 